What's going on YouTube? Jeans here bringing you guys a brand new playthrough for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I cannot believe I just said that. This game is finally here. I'm a huge fan of the Mystery Dungeon series. So let's get this playthrough started off strong by smash that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button if you have not already. So the way that I want this playthrough to actually work is I want to cut down cutscenes as minimal as possible. I know this game has tons of talking and tons of cutscenes, so I'm going to be cutting out a lot of them. Not all of them, but a lot of them to keep bringing you guys gameplay for this game. But guys, without further ado, let's hop into this playthrough and go pick our characters. The way that this game starts off is we enter the Pokemon universe us ourselves that's what it's trying to get at and we turn into a pokemon so we go through an interview process and answer a bunch of questions to determine what starter we are and if we don't like it we can always change it i want to get trico i really do want to get trico so i answered this interview honestly just like all the questions i answered how what i would actually do in real life and let's see who it actually picks us out to be like i do not want to be a skitty or a psyduck like get out of here get out of here i already know who i want my team to be but i probably will end up picking if i don't get it but chances are I'm not going to get it. But look, they have like skitty Meowth, Psyduck, and all that. Like, who wants to be that? Who am I? Who am I? Oh, I got Bulbasaur. Yo, I just got Bulbasaur. Do I want to be Bulbasaur? Nah, I don't want to be Bulbasaur. I want to be... Which Pokemon would you like to be? Yo, I want to be my boy Trico over here. Trico is my favorite starter of all time. One of my favorite Pokemon is Skeptile. So yeah, I want to be Trico. And now I get to pick my, par my partner Pokemon as well. And I'm kind of mad. They don't got Piplup in here. They don't got Piplup. Oh my god, who would I like to be my partner? Okay, so I kind of want a water Pokemon. So do I want, do I want to go double Hoenn? Do I want to go double Hoenn? Or I could go fire with Torchic. Torchic, Mudkip, or Totodile. Ooh, they're all cool guys. They're all cool guys. I think I'm going to go water. Let's go Mudkip, dude. Let's get Mudkip up in here as my buddy. We'll go with the double Gen 3 starters, and we'll get rolling with this team. Yo, Mudkip's a boy. He's a boy right here. He's chilling. Look how cute this thing is. I love the art style in this thing. Give me a nickname. Uh, I'm just going to give him... I'm just gonna give him this nickname. How do I do that? Hmm. Go to end? Yeah, I think I just hit double plus. Yeah. I do not really... I'm not a big fan of nicknames. I kind of just like to give their Pokemon the nicknames that they are. Like, I, I'm a big fan of just giving them that nickname. I mean, I might change my nickname to Jeans. Yeah, this is my team. This is my team right here. I'm Trico. He's Mudkip. Let's get rolling here. Now we're gonna actually enter the Pokemon universe and get started off with this game. Let's get it. Yo, our boy Mudkip woke us up. That's pretty dope. So how this actually starts is we go through the Pokemon universe. So like it's, I'm, I'm actually Trico. That's what they're trying to make us feel like. And we go into the Pokemon universe and we kind of do not really know what's going on. And that's the whole premise of the game is us to figure out why we're here, what happened to us, where we came from and all that good stuff. But here we are, our boy Mudkip wakes us up as our partner and we can actually get rolling. But yo, look at this art style. Look at this art style right here. It looks awesome. The game looks 10 times better. I remember playing this game. I think it came out in 2005 or 2006. I was 6 or 7 at the time. Like, I was very young. I remember this was one of, like, the first Pokemon games I played. I played Red Rescue Team as they were back in the day. It was Blue Rescue Team and Red Rescue Team. And this is a combined joint of both of them. And I don't remember beating it too much, but I remember playing it. I do remember playing it. Like, we all have those games right there. Yo, I told you. I want my name to be Trico. I want my name to be Trico. I was going to change it to Jeans, but nah, yo. We're going to keep it here. We're going to keep it. I like to keep it as the Pokemon's name. Like I said, I don't really remember beating the game, but I remember playing it. And I feel like everybody has those games when they're younger. It's like, yo, I do not even remember beating it, but I remember this game in some form. Well, here we go. Butterfree comes out the forest. Yo, look at our girl Butterfree. Oh, no. Caterpie has fell into a cavern. She lost her little baby Caterpie, and you guys already know the deal. That's the point of Mystery Dungeon Games. We help out people here, so we got to go into the cavern and actually help out this Caterpie. Let's get it, baby. The Tiny Woods, our first dungeon right here. This is what the game is based on. I'm a huge fan. These dungeons are so much fun. They are really a lot of fun. I'm a big fan of this game. Big fan of this solo player games. But I feel like I put my webcam down in a good spot. I think this is a good spot, right? Yeah, kind of out the way of everything. But look at this. Try walking. That's obvious. You can walk with this. Yeah, look at that. We have our health in the top right corner. And that little ball that says 99, that is a, uh, that's our hunger. Use a move with A. You got it. Yeah, you dragon breath. Ooh, get sauce on. Oh, another dragon breath. Get out of my face. Enemy defeated. We got 8 XP. Can I check my moves somehow? Let's check moves. Oh, move settings. Let's see it. We got quick attack, absorb dragon breath, and iron tail. Yo, look at these moves. Good thing I picked Trico. This thing's got nice little coverage move. But yeah, a lot of it is like Pokemon. Like normal Pokemon. Oh, we missed. A lot of it is like normal Pokemon. You can boost your stats, all that good stuff. Let's go from there. What you want, Pidgey? I heard there's shinies in this game, too. Get Dragon Breath, my dude. 
How do I actually pick moves? There's user shortcuts, so it's this. I think I have a hold, yeah, if I hold down left, I can pick moves. So if I hold down the left trigger, I can hit X, A, B, or Y, and actually pick moves and roll from there. Let's get rolling, and if I hold down B, I can run really fast, but then my hunger goes down just as fast. So if your hunger goes all the way down, you'll start losing HP, so you're gonna have to eat like apples or berries to actually bring it back up. Here's the stairs, so there's a certain amount of stairs or floors per dungeon, like some of them, they get bigger and bigger. I remember some of them get up to like 100 floors. But this one probably has only like five, but now we're on the second floor over here. You yellow is teammates, okay. Green is, no, green is teammates, I'm yellow. Blue is items and red is enemies. So on the map, so as you guys can see, it's just like in the left, on the left side. And I actually have a, a range move with Dragon Breath. I can actually shoot across tiles like that. Bang, take them out from there. Go grab myself my Poke Money. So Poke Money is actually very val valuable. You collect it and spend it in the, in the hub world. Get ourselves a nice little orange berry that restores HP. Dude, I, I'm a huge fan. I haven't played one of these in forever. I haven't played one of these in forever. Yo, let's go. My boy Trico here. Let's keep making our way down. We have 77 hunger. Our hunger's actually going down a little bit. There's auto mode? Press L for auto mode? Let me see this. Yo, get out of here. Yo, what is that? Auto mode? Get out of my face. They play it for yourselves. Look at this. It runs it for itself. And it goes like finds the stairs. Yo, stop. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I want to explore on my own and have some fun. So you can see the map on the left side. It's right there. Well, you can see what you discovered and what you haven't discovered yet. But I'm actually going to take this dude out with a nice little dragon breath. He's sleeping, so a lot of these Pokemon are sleeping until you hit them. I'm actually going to go back for a second and explore the side. You do not have to explore everything. I kind of like to do it in the beginning. Just to get some cool items and all that. And I see an item over here. Look at that. Yeah, see, we got Poke Dollars. Got 100 Poke Dollars. We're going to grab those. Yeah, baby. But this game looks phenomenal. The art style is so cool. I'm a big fan of it. Kind of reminds me of uh, Yoshi's Bully World or Crafty World. One of them. Probably Crafty World because it reminds me of the one on Switch. But we're on B3, baby. But yeah, Pokemon do sleep. But you can see they move when we move. So each time you take a move, it c it's considered a turn. Here we go. Pidgey Sand attacks us. He misses. What you want? I'm going to actually absorb that. Yeah, yeet. He's my stab grass move. Get 5 HP back. It's not very effective. And look at that. My partner Pokemon shoots a water gun from across the way. Trying to hit him. But let's go. Nice little absorb. Mudkip, take that out. Oh, uh, we take it out. Enemy defeated. We got 10 XP. But yeah, you level up. You gain different moves, all that. There's an enemy down here. What you want, Sunkern? He's going to growth. Boost his attack and special attack. What you want, my dude? I can actually just turn this way and then actually go for a dragon breath. I can hit this thing. Eat. Nice little 14 damage. We just one tap. Yeah, these enemies are pretty simple. Straight forward here. Let's head this way. Yeah, it's a, it's a turn-based game, but solo player. It's awesome. I'm a big fan. Let's go. What you want, Mucket? Shoot that thing with a water gun. That a boy. Get him. Nice little 12 damage. I can actually, uh, how do I angle that? There we go. I'm going to go for a nice little quick attack. So we go first. Get that first turn priority. Bam. Take him out. We'll go here. And this is a short, short floor. Like, they, usually, like, the dungeons, like, when you get up higher, they get, like, crazy. And there's, like, tons of different rooms per, per dungeon. But there we go. We find the Caterpie. Like I said, this is the whole reason we came in here. What's to save the Caterpie? Yo, Caterpie, we came to the rescue. Your mom's waiting on you. Let's get out of here, my dude. He's like, all right, dude. He looks adorable, though. He looks sick. Look at this. We completed our first mission. Trico successfully, successfully completed the rescue at Tiny Woods. Let's get it. Let's go. Oh, dude, this is my jam. Yo, haven't heard this in a minute. Haven't heard this song in a minute. Ooh -wee. Yes, sir. Big fan. It's my boy Mudkip. This is Trico right here. But we saved Caterpie. We brought her back to Butterfree. Little mama Butterfree over here. That's really the whole mission. We kind of save, like I said in the beginning, we kind of help out people all around the town. We we're actually going to go show you guys to the town after this. But he thanks us. I know it's been... I know this isn't really enough, but this is a token of our thanks. Please accept this. Yo, we got a tiny reviver seed, a petcha berry. Oh, and 500 Poke Dollars. That's actually a heaping amount. It's not a heaping amount, but that's a good amount. For us to start off as well, this little 500 Poke Dollars. Thank you for helping. Yo, you got it, dude. Let's go head into the town, my dude. I am ready. Let's check out. If you don't have a place to stay, you should come with me. Yeah, I do not have a place to stay. I just popped out on this universe for no reason. So we're going to go stay with our boy Mudkip and get rolling into the town. Look at this. Well, this is the place. Oh, that's a gorgeous place, Mudkip. I'm a big fan. Thank you so much for letting me stay with you. Let's get it. Dude, this artwork looks dope. Look at the flag made out of bamboo. I'm a big fan. Why am I shiny? Oh, uh, I guess that was just my expression, but that's pretty funny. 
So our partner Mudkip just asked us to form a rescue squad because, again, that's the whole premise of the game. You form a rescue squad and you go help out other Pokemon. And he asked us to pick a rescue squad team. And I couldn't really think of anything. I just went with the Gene Squad right here. So we are the Gene Squad, my boy Mudkip and Trico. But yeah, this game actually gets very big. It actually gets, like, very open world. You level up and all that. Oh, and he puts a scarf on us. This is to... Uh, represent that we are on the rescue team and look at that Mudkip actually looks adorable in the scarf Trico looks all right in the scarf but Mudkip looks sick in the scarf dude I should have picked Mudkip I should have picked Mudkip but this is the house that we say at we say at Mudkip's house because he's rich and he has all the money and he bought the house and we're broke coming from a different universe and now we live in there oh that's the beginning let's get it let's get it and now it shows a little Pokemon mystery dungeon rescue team the X logo I, I'm a big fan of that logo and now we can get started on with this game we just woke up from the next morning. Look at us. We still look the same. All that good stuff. We woke up in Mudkip's house. Not very furnished. Ugh. Not not very furnished right here. But that was the before the whole logo situation. That was like the demo, I think. I think that was like the whole demo part. I think that's what you got with the demo. And that was like the beginning. But look at this. Look at this. We can move in a nice little 360 thing in the house. And we can get started with like this main game now. That was just kind of like a tutorial and all that good stuff. And we walk out the house. And look at our boy Mudkip. Was he sleeping outside to let us sleep inside? That hunk of junk, dude. What a nice fella. Huh, oh, no. <laughs> Look at my dude. Ah, uh, sorry. I was so excited I came out here at dawn to wait for you. Yo, dude, my boy's so excited right here. Let's go. Anyway, today marks the start of our rescue team. Let's always do our best. Yo, you know it, Mud Kip. We gonna be thriving to do our best. Let's get it. Let's go. Oh, we don't have any jobs. Mud Kip just said we have no jobs in our mailbox. Yo, we just start off as a rescue team. It's like starting off a YouTube channel. It's like, oh, you have no viewers. Oh, I guess you're just going to have to keep working until you get jobs slash viewers. Like, that is exactly how this rescue team is. Oh, we got a rescue team starter kit. That's dope. We got a badge. We got a toolbox. All that good stuff. Pokey news. All that good stuff to get our rescue team started. But, yo, I'm so ready to just hop in here and do some mystery dungeons. Tons of fun. Tons of fun. But, yeah, the whole premise of the game is you can move along and all that. Well, I'm not saying I've said the premise like five times, but... You can move along and do like main story stuff or you can hang back and do side missions to actually level up your Pokemon and get stronger to be able to do those main missions and to collect rewards and all that. But I believe they added a few like different stuff in the hub world in order to give us like make it a little bit easier because I know the game does get pretty hard sometimes like the boss fights and all that get pretty hard. Like I know they like they, they're strong Pokemon that do mean damage to you and have tons of HP. But my boy Pelper comes here. He's the little mailman of the game. Look at him. He just plops in. He just does like a little peck into our mailbox and drops us off some uh, mail. Let's go. Let's go see what's in there. We go in here. We got some mail, baby. Maybe it's a rescue job offer. It better be a rescue job offer. Open that up. Shiko read the letter. Bzz, bzz, bzz. I heard about you from Caterpie. Oh, baby. We got ourselves a rescue mission. We got ourselves a nice little rescue mission. So now we're going to hop in there. Get going with that. What do you think? Yeah, we should go. I should totally, we should totally go. It's the whole point, Mudkip. You want to do this. And now we can actually start heading towards our first mystery dungeon. And here's the map. Here's the map. We have to go to Thunder Wave Cave, which is pretty dope. Just going to send us there right away. Oh. Oh. Oh, my Lord. Yo, dude. This I forgot how good the music is in this game. Oh. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, wait, yo, I'm, dude, this game's too good. Thunder Wave Cave, B, first floor, let's get it. We can dash with B. It's another, like, tutorial level, but still, yo, let's get it. I see an item up here on the map. Let's go. We grab ourselves a nice little apple. Let's go, and we got ourselves Ratatat right there. What you want, Ratatat? I'm actually come up this way. Throw a little dragon breath at you. What you want? Do a little bit of 14 damage. Oh, we paralyzed it. That's lovely. Get it, Mudkip. Yeah, Mudkip, take it out. Let's go. Yeah. So you love to see. You love to see that. Let's go. Let's keep heading down this way. Yeah, but some of the floors, like, when you get uh, into the game more, they're, like, huge. There's, like, 86 rooms. Nah, I'm, I'm kidding. Not 86 rooms, but there are tons of rooms and tons of floors per dungeon. Like, it gets really crazy. Like, this one only has four rooms. Like, it eventually gets, like, 20 rooms with, like, 50 floors. And it takes you hours to beat it, and then you die, and then you have to restart. You're like, bruh, what you mean? We got double enemy right here. Muck it. Let's split here. Do some work. If you face multiple enemies at once, retreat to the corridor to find them one at a time. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. So it's telling us to retreat back, and we can line it up in a certain way for us to actually do some work. Let's get it. Let's go here. Drop a little bit of iron to action. Yeah, yee. Oh, we missed. Get out of my face. So yeah, like I said, it's it's kind of exactly like a Pokemon game. Just 
like it's still turn based, it's just set a little differently. And it's a solo player, solo player. But Mudkip is doing work with his water gun. You have range moves, and you have to be close up for some moves, like Dragon Breath, we can shoot across tiles, and then some other ones we cannot. I believe there's a way to actually, uh, that's, that's my pause menu. I don't want to go here when I hit B. But I believe there's a way to, there's our toolbox. There we go. If I hold down the, what is it, the Y button, I can actually turn and position myself in certain tiles to actually aim up on enemies. Let's go. Here's Apple. Look at all these items. Hold down R. What's that do? Okay, that's, that just makes us walk in certain directions. Okay, that's pretty cool. But I can do it on my own. I can do my own. We, we picked up a bunch of stuff. We got it. Ether, we got orange berries, all that good stuff. Yeah, oh, what you want, dude? We're gonna actually line this one up. We're gonna go for my little bit of dragon breath. But yeah, you level up, get all different moves. Actually, I'm gonna walk up and pimp on this thing. And watch, watch this. I can actually slide over and have my mud kit step in here and get some shots up in there. He's gonna tackle me. Yo, what you want? Now I'm actually gonna go for a nice little absorb. Get some of my HP back and get one from there. What you want, dude? But this dungeon has some good tunes, my dude. Oh my lord. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, wee. Let's go. If you're in a dungeon and you fail an adventure, you lose money. Okay. So all the money that you are carrying, you end up losing. We pick up that ether. What's this do? This is a wonder tile. It returns our stats back to normal. So if Pokemon lowers our stats, we're going to see a wonder tile. Yo, what you want? You drop my defense? Get out of my face. We're going to iron tail you up. Why do I keep missing my iron tail? My iron tails keep missing. Ooh, you miss as well. I'm going to quick attack you. What you want, my dude? The water gun comes out here. My defense is down. I'm going to actually hop back here, switch spots with Mudkip, and actually return my stats to normal. Mudkip's chilling here. He didn't get tail whipped. Let's get rolling. Yeah, ye, baby. There's another one tile. Two wonder. Oh, three wonder tiles. What you want, my dude? What you want? We're gonna line, line ourselves up. Can Iron Tail land? Let's go. 19 damage. Big damage. Water gun flies through. Boop. See you later. Let's go. Big fan. Big fan of this game. And I'm glad I can actually sit down and play a whole new game on the channel. I, I see the stairs right there, but I'm actually just gonna go explore over here. Grab the item. So I can see it on the map. Oh, we paralyzed him. I'm gonna stay back and actually throw another dragon breath. What you want, my dude? Get out of here. Give me all that XP. I'm trying to level up as well. Let's go. Give me this pokey coin. Give me this pokey coin, my dude. Let's roll. Let's roll. Now the rat Rattata spawned. Dragon Breath gonna come through. Can we get the Paralyze? No. Oh, we just get a crit. That was a crit, baby. Ooh, wee. Yeah, so this game has like everything that an old poke, well, a normal mainstream Pokemon game has. It's just, it's just differently. And I'm a, dude, I'm such a huge fan. So much fun. Especially because it's, it's a solo player game. I don't have to worry about online. I can just enjoy myself. A little 2v1 situation here. Oh, we missed. I'm actually changed to an, go into a nice little absorb here. What you want, my dude? Take him out. Go ahead, Mudkip. Hit him with that water gun. Oh, what you want? Kuchiana slides through. But, you know, there's so many Pokemon. I believe it goes up to Gen 3, the original did, but this one might add a Gen 4 Pokemon. I'm not too sure. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, we leveled up. Let's go. Who leveled up? Trico did. Let's get it. So we get all of our stats boosted as well. Did we learn a move? I leveled up. We do not learn a move. And our boy Mudkip levels up as well. Yes, sir. Stat boost is stat boost. But I know the what's it called is different. The evolution is different. You don't just evolve on uh on what's it called on levels. You have to actually like do certain tasks to evolve. And and I think the wish cash evolves you that you get. I think maybe post game or later on. You guys will see. You guys will see eventually this playthrough. Let's go. Let's find a shot up. Are we diagonal? He held boost his attack. Yeah, we're diagonal. I'll use my range move over my dragon breath. Slap it up and we paralyze it. I'm gonna just slap it up again. Mudkip takes a step up. So you can take different turns by attacking or moving. So it's pretty cool. So if I want to take a step back, that'll count as my turn. You can still attack. Let's go. Pokey dollar stairs to stairs. What you want? How many floors are in here? We go to the next floor. We are on B4. We're in B5 now. Let's keep rolling. Oh, yes, sir. What you want? I see you right there. I see you right there. I'm gonna shoot a dragon breath at you. Look at that. Across range tiles and just one tap that. That has no HP. What you want? Get a mud kip. Get a mud kip. I'll let you handle this one. Now you mud bomb. You missed. He's gonna get you, dude. Actually, actually, you're not ground type yet. You're just water. He could have just murked on you with a super effective attack. Let's run. So when I go really fast, I'm just holding down B button to run. But as you can tell, my hunger is getting low. I know I have an apple. Apple will actually heal up my hunger, which is type nice. That was just a square that did nothing. Right, let's go this way. I see an enemy coming up here. Yeah, you see him up there. Yeah, yeah. I think I positioned my camera pretty solid. And I, I didn't even I didn't even mention this. We're, we went full screen, as you guys can tell. We didn't go in with the, what's it called? We didn't go in with the layout. I feel like you guys want to see some full screen action. Just have my webcam chilling on the side. Bam, bam. Trico's getting hungry. Yeah, I see. But I feel like this, uh, this dungeon's rather, like, getting close to being over. So I'm not even going to waste an apple unless I really, really have to. Ooh, we're down at 14. We might have to, but... I see the stairs there. I'm gonna go finish up this dungeon, collect some other things in here. I see items. What you want? Oh, we're out of a. Uh, we're out of a. Uh, I might actually take a step up. I'm out of Dragon Breath. He's gonna howl boost his stats. That's uh, That's rather scary. Let's see if we can land this Iron Tail. 
Yes, sir. Big 26. That does some mean damage. We'll wake up this boy right here. Target him down. I'll go for a nice little quick attack. Oh, he missed. He goes for Sonic Boom. Yo! My dude. My dude. I gotta actually go into my menu. Now, that's how you switch if you hit plus. You go into my menu. I have my toolbox. I'm gonna actually eat an Ormberry. Show you guys how that does. It gives us a little bit of hunger. Boosts our hunger a little bit, and it gives us HP as well. Let's go. Eat that Ormberry. Get 54 HP and fill our hunger up just a little bit. He charges. He charges because we miss an attack. I'll go for an absorb here. Try to deal some damage. I wish this Mudkip would step up. I actually get my side or step up as well. Yeah, I'm gonna step up as well so Mudkip can do some work. We'll take a hit here. And now me and Mudkip can both actually attack this thing. We do 10. Oh, come on. I want my Mudkip to get up the shot. I know I'm hungry. I know I'm hungry. Let's line this one up. Mudkip, step up. Mudkip should be able to step up. Oh, we just dump on that thing. We just dump on that thing. Let's go this way. If our hunger does go all the way down to zero, which is at six right now, we will actually start taking damage, which is tough news. What you want, my dude? I'm actually taking a step back here. Actually, I'm gonna switch sides with Mudkip so he gets the front row. And let him do the work. Go ahead, Mudkip. Go. Oh, Quick Attack can hit through. I forgot about that. Quick Attack it acts as a ranged weapon. Oh, see what happens? See what happens now? Every time we move, we take damage. Yo, we're hungry. We're hungry. I have to eat now. I have to eat. Let's go. I have to eat now. Let's go. Let's go to our toolbox. What do I have? Do I have an apple? I have an apple. I'm going to eat the apple. Apple will actually boost us up a good bit. We're hungry. What is it? 50? Yeah. Apple's 50. And I know there's big apples that put us all the way through the roof. But man, I didn't even have to eat the apple. I should have just went through the stairs because the dungeon was over. The dungeon was over. Oh, there they are. Let's get them out safely. So our whole mission was to save these Magnemites from Thunder Wave Cave. And that's what we did. We saved them. Let's go. Trico successfully completed the job at Thunder Wave Cave. So the more missions we get, the more we level up our rescue team. And then we can do bigger and better missions and eventually burst boss and actually move along with the main story. Oh my god, dude. The soundtrack. Okay, it gives us a big apple, an orange berry, and 650 Poke Dollars for actually completing that task that's awesome so every time you complete mystery dungeon rescue task you get some good stuff i'm glad our rescue mission went well today let's get it actually since this was our first job as a proper rescue team i was really tense and nervous yo dude it's all right my boy we did that work we got that job done and where's my kip going where'd he go he left he left me oh we went to bed we, we were slumped we're slumped here and we're having a dream we were having a dream. So this is actually when these cutscenes happen. It's actually just Trico like remembering kind of like who he is and where he came from. Because he came from the human universe. Like I said, it's me inside a Pokemon form. That's the whole point of the interview and all that good stuff. Brand new day once again. We're going to step out of our house after our wonderful night's sleep. Having that dream of remembering things. And we always head to the mailbox when we usually start off our day. And we go check if we have any rescue missions. But there's no mail seeking help from the rescue team. Oh, man. Mudkip comes over here. Yo, good morning, Trico. Yo, what's up, my dude? How you doing, Mudkip? What are we doing today? We have no rescue missions. What do we do now? I love Mudkip's expressions. He gets all sad. He's a very, uh, he's a very timid little boy in this game. It's hilarious. So, like, if we have no rescue missions, he kind of gets down on himself. We're actually going to walk over here towards the right side since we have no rescue mission. And we're going to go to Pokemon Square, which is the main town. You can do a bunch of stuff here. You can buy items. You can learn new moves. You can do do dojos and, like, level up and all that good stuff. Here's the Kelcleon shop. Oh, my lord. I haven't seen this thing in a minute, dude. Let's get it, yo. What's up? Yo, we got all this good stuff. What's over here? So she's going to tell me, oh, this is a bank, right? Yeah, we can store money. So when you die in dungeons... You lose all the money that you have unless it's in the bank. So we're actually going to deposit money and all that. We got the Gulpin Link Shop so you can link up with other players. All that good stuff. What's linking? If you link moves, you can use them together at the same time. Oh, that's what it is. Never mind. It is not so you can link up with other players. You can set up link moves. Here's the Kangaskhan storage right here. You can store items and all that good stuff. Because you can only hold a certain amount of items. So you store some here. You put some money away in the bank. It's pretty dope. So you don't lose everything. Because you lose all your items and the what's it called and your money when you die in a dungeon so here's the dojo we can get training and learn moves and all that good stuff level up as well over here if we get dojo tickets i believe but yeah the pokemon square is dope has all the good stuff bump 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 and he said all the way to the right side is he is like the pelipper mail stuff so we can go get some rescue mission missions and we can talk to mudkip if we ever forget everything look trico the pelipper post office it's all the way down there so that's our job that's what we have to do i might actually talk to this little boy right here this little Persian right here. And I want to deposit some Poke money. I kind of just want to... I'm going to show I'm going to deposit all of it. I'm going to deposit all of it right now. So we can spend it later. Yeah, we're going to deposit all that. Oh, and he gives us an apple for depositing and, like, setting up an account. We can come here and withdraw at any time. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. I can actually go over here and check out the Kelcleon shop. See what they got selling. What do you got, my dudes? 
Let's buy items. Even though I just deposit all my money, I have no money on here. You can get rocks, others, tiny reviver seeds. Reviver seeds are nice because if your Pokemon goes down a partner Pokemon, you can revive them with that seed and all that good stuff. But we're actually going to head over here to the Pelper Post Office before we do end off this episode and see what's going on so we can get started in a new dungeon right when the next episode starts. Look at this. Here we are. The Pelipper Post Office. This is where we get a bunch of rescue jobs, all that good stuff. And look at our boys, yo. All Pelipers are mailmans. Like, they were just born in the B mail, people. Hilarious. Hilarious. This is where the information is gathered from Pokemon Needing Rescue. Okay, so here's the Pokemon Rescue Board right here. We can come here anytime. Like I said, we can do side missions and grab stuff from the bulletin boards. Look at this. We can grab all these different stuff. What happens if I hit B? No, I think I have to accept one. Let's see. Let's see what he says. See, there were jobs listed, right? To do a rescue job, choose a job. Okay, yeah, so we have to accept the job. You can go to the dungeons by taking the path near the base. Okay, cool. This is showing us all this good stuff. So do we take a job? Since we're just starting off, we should handle the jobs that are posted here. Our team name will get better by doing that. Okay, so he's telling us to build up our team rescue name and all that good stuff and take some jobs. So we're going to take a job. What job do we really want to do? We can go back to Thunder Wave Cave. We can do all that good stuff. Which one should I do? What should I do? Let's go Thunder Wave Cave right here. Oh, it's, it tells us the reward as well. Carbos, Violent Seed, Pure Seed, and a Defense Scarf. What do I want to do? I kind of want to go. The difficulty is F, so that means really easy. I kind of want to go back to Thunder Wave Cave. Do I take all these? Do I take all these? No, we're just going to take one right now. We are just going to take one right here. Accepted jobs. And that's just our accepted jobs. Now we can actually head back to the house and get ready to go and do our next rescue mission. Let's get it. Let's go. But we... Awesome start to this video. We start off. We found Times Square. All that good stuff. You can head to the dungeons from that road. Yo, we know that. We know that, my boy. We know that, but I'm so hyped about this game. This game has been awesome so far. It's been so dope all around. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. As in the next episode, we're going to be continuing on with the main mission and doing our first rescue mission that we accepted. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.